Hey everybody, it's Lon Seib and it's time for another unboxing. A lot of you have been asking about these inexpensive tablets from Walmart called the On Tablets. So I picked up the 10.1 inch tablet here and the 8 inch tablet. Uh, together these were about 150 bucks, so my expectation here is not high, but I know a lot of you were interested in what these things can and can't do. And we're going to have a full review of this soon on my main channel at lon.tv. So we'll start off with the 8 inch one here, and you can see some of the uh, specs they've got here on the back. We'll get a full breakdown of the technical specs in the full review. Uh, so inside, of course, we have a coupon here for some uh, books from the Walmart ebook store. And then we have the tablet itself. So let's get this thing out and see what it's about. And it's uh, encased in this plastic pretty good here. There we go. All right, so we'll open it up here. It looks like it's got a screen protector on there. They want you to charge the battery and do all these other things to get everything set up and operating. A little cheat sheet for some of the Android controls on them. Uh, these are running Android, and they are um, running with Android 9 on them. It looks like it's got a screen protector already installed on it. I don't think this peels off, although you probably could. And it looks like it's you know sort of okay attached, um, but not the best looking thing. But the uh, quality actually doesn't feel bad for the price point. It's not going to you know, rival your iPads or your Samsung tablets, but it feels okay to me. Uh, it does have an SD card slot. It doesn't have a door on it, so you can augment its onboard storage. Uh, this one, it looks like it comes with 16 gigs of storage, and then you can put some movies and other things on uh, the card. You've got a micro, SD, or micro USB connector there for charging, not USB-C, and a headphone jack. So that is that. The screen actually looks pretty good. I think it's an IPS display. Not bad. All right. And then what else is in the box here? We have an instruction manual for getting started. And then they've got the USB charging cable and power adapter. So that is the 8-inch one. And now we'll unbox the 10-inch one. They also have a version with a keyboard uh, that costs about $20 more. So this one I think was $79, and the one with the keyboard was $100. I found the keyboards typically on these self-contained packages are not great, um, so just uh, be advised. So here we go, very similar to the other experience. And it looks like this one they're kind of encouraging a landscape uh, orientation to, just based on the screen protector here. And actually the placement of the camera leads me to think that as well. So we'll peel that off. And it looks like it's pretty much the same as the other one so far as ports are concerned. You've got the micro SD card slot, USB port, and the headphone jack. I was expecting to see some pogo plugs down here for connecting the keyboard, but I'm not seeing that. Although it does look like it has stereo speakers on the 10 inch version, which I don't think are on the eight inch. Nope, so you got that. It does not look like they put a screen protector on this one. Oh, yep, no, it looks like this one does not have that screen protector. So that's a little bit of a difference there. Uh, so let's power this one up real quick and see if the screen looks nice. It looks pretty decent Look for the colors to come on there. Uh, also in the box are just the instruction manual here and the USB cable and charger. And we'll let this thing boot up. My understanding is that this one, at least the 10-inch one, has the same guts, I think, as like the Amazon Fire 8-inch tablet. And I wouldn't be surprised if these actually come out of the same factory uh, as the Amazon ones do. And we'll let this... Uh, boot up here. Again, these are running Android, so you'll get the full Google experience with the Google Play Store and everything else on there. And uh, should be getting there pretty shortly here. There we go. And the screen on this one looks pretty good too. Not bad. So we'll be taking a full look at these very shortly on the main channel at lon.tv. So stay tuned. We're going to install all of our apps on them and give you a good overview of what they can and can't do. So lots more to see. lon.tv. Stay tuned. This channel is brought to you by the lon.tv supporters including Gold Level supporters, The Four Guys with Quarters podcast, Tom Albrecht, and Kalyan Kumar. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more.
And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv s.